Meanwhile, it looks like we are ready to go at the Ada County Elections Office to find out if there is an issue with come, when it comes to tabulations. Aspen, what, what is happening down there? Yeah, I'm Brian, we're told there's a little bit of a hiccup. Trent Triple County Clerk is going to join us to give us a little insight on what's going on right now. Yeah, so we've discovered uh, through our uh, adjudication process that there's uh, uh, about 18,500 uh, ballots that were cast in early voting at one of our early voting sites, and that was here at the Benjamin site here at uh, election headquarters. Um, out of abundance of caution, we are rescanning those through our central count. We're about finished with them. Uh, we should have those uh, posted to our total results. I suspect since LD15, uh, there's some close races with an LD15 and that early voting site kind of sits close to LD15. That might uh, affect LD15 races. Uh, we also have about 2,000 absentees that we picked up at the 8 o'clock uh, pickup from the post office and in the drop boxes that we'll also be uploading. So we still have about 20,000 votes out there uh, for uh, our, our, our results to be finished tonight. What would you say people should look out for for updates when it comes to what these results are? Just that the, the closest races we have right now are LD15, and those, those 20,000 votes could have an impact on those races. Um, but we, we should have those up within the next 30 minutes, I think. All right. Thank you very much. Brian, we're going to send it back to you from Ada County Elections Aspen, Office. Aspen, really here. quickly, did he say why they have to rescan those 18,500 ballots? Can you touch a little bit more on why you're going to have to rescan those ballots? So when we get these scanners back from our early voting sites, we do a, a, a check on them, right? And uh, there was uh, two of the scanners that had small discrepancies in them based off the amount of ballots that were cast. And we'd also had received reports from some of our poll workers that there was some confusion on uh, whether or not the ballots had been accepted in those properly from the voters. Uh, and so we, w we wanted to do a test, and when we found there was, there was a small variance in, in some of the ballots that we had scanned, um, just to double check those, we decided out of, again, of abundance of caution to just do all of the ballots again to make sure that they were cast properly. And walk me through a little bit more of how you guys discovered that tonight. Um, it, we discovered it early in the day when we thought it was only isolated to two scanners. And, and we think it was. We don't think that it affected the other scanners, but again, we weren't 100% sure that it hadn't. Uh, and so for that particular site, we decided we're just going to rescan all of them just to make sure that we get that right. All right. People can expect updates from you guys, and you said the next 30 minutes? That's correct. All right. Brian. All right. Thank you very much. Aspen seems like a little discrepancy in numbers, but the system working kind of like it's supposed to work. When they catch those things, they recheck them, and we'll have those numbers. So as he said, District 15, tight race, 20,000 votes, ballots it could, could make swing a it. Difference. A yeah. big difference.